Hello there, this is Quill Scene. Welcome to episode number 11. Yes, I think it's 11. We have a radio message to listen to. Um, I wanted to point this out in case you see it some other times. I have the bug, and I think it's Subnautica has a bug, that every time I reload, um, after having turned off my LifePod beacon, the LifePod beacon comes back, either right here in the center or off to the side somewhere. It always comes back. You just clear it out by turning it back on, turning it off, and it's gone. So, that's simple. Let's listen to our radio message. Playing partially translated broadcast. Nine new biological subjects designated mode. Hunting, analyzing, sharing subject locations with other agents. Well, that's probably not good, but it does indicate that there may be other survivors other than just me, so that is good. Um, pick up our first aid kit. Oh, that's the only one we got. Okay, so we got to go sort through our stuff. We have some new things. We've got ion cubes, lithium, diamond. So we've got to create some new storage spots for those. Um, so let's... Um, let's put the ion cubes over here and crafted because they are crafted, the aliens made them. Um, and then let's make one for lithium. Oh yeah, our floodlight actually in our what's that bench. Uh, Ally is lithium, and well, put it in there. Trying to write now. Diamond is made out of carbon, folks. Carbon, pure and simple carbon. Uh, <coughs> so the lithium away as well, um, and we will put our gold away. We have somewhere for gold to go. Um, biological table floral. There it is. There we go. All right, so we are set. Um, where are we going? We don't want to go back to the island right away. You can go look at the high priority passengers room. What did that say? I, you know what? Let's listen to theirs again. Life pod thirteen. Um, not the, the data bank. No, voice log. I forget what it said. There it is. High priority automated message from Aurora Live Pod 13 coordinates attack. Live Pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yoki Kassar. I said Kassar. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. So he's dead. Um. There's probably stuff over there we want. Um, or do we want to go to this, which is a lot closer, but might be harder to get to. Let's go to Degassi. Because this only goes 200. Welcome aboard, Captain. Our ship only goes 200 meters right now. We will see if we can get down to this. If I can get down 200 meters, I should be able to dive the remaining 50. Oh, there's our lifeboat. Hey, lifeboat. Our old home no longer. Whoa, where am I going? That's not the right. Here it is. Oh, it's down here. Oh, bump. Thanks.
Oh, well, here we go. It drops off. We need to play down here. It's underneath us. Oh, radiation. Well, let's go take a look. This. Oh, this is it right here. Radiation's not going to hurt us too quickly. Why is it spinning? There it is. See the habitat down there? Oh, and the radiation stopped. Okay, so we can do this. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. There we go. We want to stay right there. And we can go deeper. This thermal plant. This is what we need to use our uh, that that the thermal area right near us. Moon pool. Possibly predatory life forms. Oh, that was the second piece. Artificial structure somewhere in the region. No kidding, lady. It's right here in front of us. Power cell charger. Lots of goodie down here. Got to keep an eye on our oxygen. Heck, that's creepy. Big bush. It's not over there. Ooh, magnetite. Ooh, that thing looks spooky. A way in. Son, there is always a pecking order. And in our world, money. I'm makes gonna finish going argument. around at first. I pay made a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. If money makes the hierarchy, why is Marguerite making the decisions? We need her. We let her think what she likes, so long as she does what she's told. Modification what station. If she we need that. For enough money, she we will. Three of them. People always do. All right, so I think we've gone all the way around the whole thing now. Seconds. Let's go back up. Get some air, and then we'll go inside. We saw that entrance right there. Ah, uh, I wish I could go lower. It's not music. Boom, 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 boom. Let's read, read the stuff we got here. Hang on, real quick. So we just listened to pecking order. Meta apparently is running things, although Paul still thinks he's in charge. Um, gas and survivors. Magnetite. Magnetite is an iron oxide valued for its magnetic potential amongst other qualities. It's used in many Federation technologies, including sonar and torpedo systems. Essential for advanced fabrication. Cave bush, a purple luminescent species which grows well on hardy terrain away from sunlight. Modification station. Where the standard fabricator automatically rearranges raw materials to form complex devices, the mod station is able to combine complex devices to enhance their function. Most industrial vessels are fitted with a complement of equipment modification stations, which enable engineers to adapt their tools on the fly. To conserve hard drive space, the modification statement is excluded by default from most personal emergency blueprint libraries, like ours. However, extreme environments such as ocean and desert class planets, this one, may necessitate the adaptation of basic survival tools for unanticipated applications. For this reason, access to a mod station is always recommended. The first rule of survival in hostile environments is to work with the resources available. If it's 800 degrees outside and you're in danger of burning to death at any moment, you may as well get some cheap, reliable energy out of it. Converts heat energy into electricity. Always takes take thermometer readings before attempting installation. Core mechanisms are housed in a heat-resistant chassis that are not impervious to extreme temperatures. The thermal power plant. It's hot. <laughs> okay. Uh, We, we saw that unique predatory life form, I think, was that snaky thing over there. Hopefully it's not coming there. So we got the moon pool. 
So yay, we need that. Uh, it'll allow us to recharge our batteries in this thing, our CMOS. So that's perfect. Got some magnetite, Fe304, metal oxide with magnetic properties. Down we go. Um, we need oh, ow! Oh, that was insta death almost. Holy cow! Okay, turn that off. Let's swim gently and not near those things. Something over here on the table. I thought it might get claustrophobic living underwater. What a filtration. It is. He'd tell me it was childish, but I stare out of the window and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes <laughs> twice the length of a habitat compartment. Certainly, it's not all friendly. Most of the plant life is toxic. I learned that the hard way. Yeah, but like we just I've did. managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but it's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father approves. He says understanding is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. One at a time. I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's not Come easy on. without proper Stop. equipment and network access, but the old-fashioned way, observing, Ooh, taking notes, testing theories, shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Okay, Lately, back. I've been watching the crab There's snakes. Stuff in here. They ambush their prey as it tries yeah, to feed separate. on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat settles on the seabed, stuck which on the fertilizes stuff. the mushrooms, oh, which feeds that's the herbivores, me. and so the chain oh, continues. That's not good. Co-evolution gives me the fuzzies. Co-evolution gives me the fuzzies. Oh, my health went back up. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Alright, let's listen to that one. Integrating new PDA data. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering. But I didn't have enough enameled glass. So, I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have. And those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only, well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. Said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest armed with just a heat blade and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other... Well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. And what's the point in surviving here if we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful? I wish I knew more about these animals. But Father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. Hmm. Okay. Water filtration system. The filtration system draws water unfit for human consumption from an external source, atomically splits it into its constituent parts, and outputs consumable liquid water and salts, while disposing of any harmful byproducts. It can be built in any compatible habitat module, but has substantial power requirements. The Altera water filtration system. Any liquid into pure, refreshing, pH-balanced water? Yes, sir. Any liquid. <clears throat> yeah. You know what Maida told me today? She wants to build a habitat 500 meters below sea level, more than a kilometer northeast of here. And she needs Bart and I to do it. 
She's got it into her head that she can save us if she just acts recklessly enough. But I've hauled Star Wars to Neptune, Plasteel to the Federation. <sighs> this family operates nine different mining colonies across the Ariadne Arm. Mada thinks she's better suited to lead. Her contract still says otherwise. But I just cannot damn well tell whether it's the stupidest idea I ever heard. Or my only hope. I turned 80 years old last week. I thought I had another 80 in me, but marooned on this planet, there's no swapping out of my liver when the old one fails. Here, I'm mortal. And Maida is useful. So, it's my responsibility to make a decision. Return to the island and hope whatever knocked the Degazi out of the sky won't do the same to the rescue ship. Or take us deeper in search of answers. And all the while be hoping old age gets me before the sea monsters do. I'll give Maida just one thing. She was right about these caves. There's enough lithium there to fabricate a hundred tons of plasteel. Enough for a damn fleet of Cyclops submarines. There was nothing anyone could have done to avoid crashing here. But I was right to order the detour. If we get off this planet, They'll be talking about the Torgel share price on the other side of the Federation. <laughs> Integrate a new PDA data. 30 seconds. That wasn't a peeper. What was that? New blueprint acquired. Got him. New creature discovered. All right. Captain. All right, so let's listen to. I think we picked up one or two more here. Let's look at that indigenous life form first. I'm curious what it says. Jelly Shroom, a life form unique to a microcosm located in a cave system within the grassy plateaus where a high concentration of carnivorous life forms ward off smaller predators. It consists of a tough trunk like base from which grows a fragile purple membrane. Membrane structure suggests vulnerability to predation, but evidence thereof is lacking. Unknown defensive mechanisms? Possible symbiotic relationship? Predators? None identified. Alright, let's go to Meta's log. These conniving corporate bourgeois inbred incompetent <laughs> self-absorbed jerks don't have a damn clue. The kid's not so bad. He's even useful. But I swear, everything that comes out of his father's idiot face is a narcissistic lie. He wants to stay in this cave? His problem. I'm the one doing the heavy lifting. When sea monsters are hunting you, you don't hide. You hunt the sea monsters. Then you build a bigger boat out of sea monster bones and you hunt bigger monsters. Keep going until there aren't any monsters left to hunt you. I'm going deeper. I'm gonna find what shot us down, and I'm gonna tear its damn heart out. I started the prep work. The kids taught me how to make enameled glass. I've started stockpiling metal ores to build myself a sea moth. I'll raid the indoor grow beds before I leave. Ooh. We're already 200 meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? Look around us, Chief. Water leaking through the hull, water outside the hatch. We're drowning real slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down, it's gonna do it again and again until it's shut off. You see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would it any more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. There's something down there. Something that shouldn't be. <laughs> You're mm. mad! I'm going all the same, and I have an idea you two are going to follow. But if you do, be mindful. Your authority stopped at sea level. Okay. So we're starting to get an idea of these Degassi survivors. But things are not all well in their little happy homes. So we're at their first one. Their fir Actually, their first one was the one on the island. This is their second one, 200 meters down. And she wants to go a half a kilometer down, so 500 meters. Um, it said uploaded the PDA. Got it. 
Yep. Oh, a thousand kilometers. Oh no, that's a thousand meters from us. Five hundred meters down. So no way we can get to that one right now. Um, but let's turn on the beacon manager. Make it red. Make. Um, well, I guess the Degasi, oh, here it is. This one, turn it off, turn it teal. So we've been here. All right, and going back out, we'll straight up. Oh, radiation, I can't stick around and look at what that was. Gotta get out of here. There we go. What do I have? What do I need? Let's get some. All right. So, the Degasi is quite clearly part of our future. There's our life pod over there. We're heading home. Um, we've explored this wreck. Oh, there's that one. We need to get home, eat, and drink. Um, I think what I want to do next is to build a ladder to get into that upstairs portion of our facility. Um, I would like to build a grow bed so we can start growing, start growing those seeds that we found. Welcome aboard, Captain. Do we have enough? Okay. Yeah, I've got some here. All right. Plus, I have plenty. I should have just loaded it first. Oh well. One, two. All right, let's build ourselves a ladder. Oh, the moon pool. Yeah, I want to build that too. <laughs> um, what a filtration, that's right. Ladder, here it is. Oh, now one in the middle. Okay, in here, you know what, do I want it here? Let's think about this. We come in, that's our manufacturing station, there's our scanner. Let's put our food and our power off this way. Seek fluid intake. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. So let's, uh, see. Let me construct that one up top, too. Let's drink something so she doesn't keep it on there. Vital signs stabilizing. Um, okay, so let's put a tube off this way. Mm -hmm. put it there. Calorie intake recommended. Not another tube. Nope, nope, nope. Still now? the moon pool off over here, I believe, so we need to come out that way. All right, then, oh, come on. 
Alright, let's do it. Okay, let's go deal with the food situation first. Oh, I only have that. Oh, let's cook the Oculus. There we go. Oh, we have a Reginald. I already ate him, though. Alright. Yum, yum, yum. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay. Now I can get my... Come on. Ah! Not <sighs> oh crap. We're flooding. Oh, come on. Ew. Alright. We got a hurry. Uh, repair tool for. There's the other holes. We'll be swimming soon. That's what happens when you don't keep an eye on your whole strength. Hull integrity restored. Draining systems initiated. All right. So, yeah. Um, how do we strengthen reinforcement? Lithium and three titanium. Okay. We just happen to have some lithium. Let's get a couple of them. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then one, two, three, four, five, six for the other two. All right. One. Two. No, we don't need this thing. We'll go up later. How many are there? Oh, I might have left it. I thought I had four of them. Oh well, just three. Well, that's enough. Alright, so that's going to be my grow beds. This will eventually be my main pool. Yeah, 
that'll be my main fuel. This is my food. Uh, do I have enough to take anymore? Yes. Interior robots. Another. Okay, let's go get some of those marble melon things planted. That's what the kid said he was eating on his thing too. Um, I have no idea how many things will fit. I want the marble melons for sure. Uh, well, let's see if they all fit. Let's see. Grow. I need to go fishing. I need food. Because I can't see a last of them. Oh, that's right, I've got my grab trap. Oh, yeah, I'll catch it before. Let's see where I'm going. Oh, boy, you're looking at me. Oh, I'm out of tubes. Not exactly. So, got five. Let's do three of them. No, oh, let's do all five. Four. Thanks. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. One. Two. Three. And folks, thank you for watching. I'm going to call this an episode. And uh, like, share, subscribe. Click the little bell notification icon to hear uh, or to find out when I post the next one. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you later. Bye.